Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video, and this time we are back with the first episode of the next series of A Week Of, or Two Weeks Of. I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to call it, but this time we're looking at Monk. Uh, so I literally hit 70 pretty recently, uh, as in like in the last hour, and we've jumped pretty much straight into a key. We're at 354 eye level. Uh, I am going to go over my gear at some point. It'll be in one of the videos I'll go over my gear. Um, I've jumped to this literally straight away, pretty much. And um, I will explain how I've done it and kind of all that other stuff. So other people, as you're leveling alts and things like that, you, you can take advantage of what I'm doing as well. Um, so it's only a plus two. We're not expecting this to be like anything crazy. I'm not expecting it to be particularly difficult. But I am interested to see just how it is to heal as a Miss Weaver in M+, and, and maybe we won't even get kind of the best idea from one run, or, or even this scenario in general. But um, we've got a 336 eye level tank, 349 eye level uh, Havoc Demon Hunter, a 400 eye level Frost Mage, and a 411 Marksman. Okay, so damage is not going to be an issue. Okay, that's that's good to know. Um, so one thing that I've been doing a lot of reading and research, and I think this is probably the mo one of the most, if not the most, intimidating classes to play for me right now, which is pretty crazy because I've played this game for a long time. I very rarely get intimidated by a class of respect, but Miss Weaver in general just seems like, wow, there's just so much going on. Um, so we're going to focus on two things. One, we're going to focus on having Feyline Stomp Up for every pack. Um, now, obviously, there's a little bit of RNG into that, but ultimately, I think as long as we can keep that up, we're in a good spot. Second thing is we're going to try and use as many uh, Renewing Mists as possible. Ooh, don't die. Uh, see, so my issue at the moment is I'm very good at kind of just allowing, like, just like I say random, it's not random, but kind of general healing to go on. It's when healing gets a little bit intense that things seem to go bad. Like right now, there's no crazy damage, there's nothing majorly going on, no one's getting hit by things. I just press spinning grain kick and, and win. Um, but the second we, we do a nasty pull or people stand in a couple of things, it gets a little bit spicy quite quickly. Uh, you probably would never do this pull on the higher key, but as we said in the Warrior videos last week, uh, I believe was in one of the Warrior videos, uh, you've got to play to the level of your key. And in this scenario, we're, we're not in a, a plus 20. We are in here being pretty much carried in terms of damage, which means as long as I keep people alive for the length of the pack, it's going to die. Um, you adjust, and you adjust to the level of the key and the level of the group and things like that. So that sort of pull, I don't have to worry about it, even though, like I said, you did that on a plus 10 even. That's probably a pretty nasty pack, even for good players. Um, but on a plus 2, it's not really an issue. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about things here. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to try and keep up renewing mists in between packs. Let's use an essence form while we're running in. And we've got our nice early research. Just going to focus on spinning crane kicks. Lots of damage going out. Uh, what did so much damage? Was someone stood in melee? Was I stood in melee? Could that have been what happened? Uh, maybe. There is a very good chance that that happened. We just won't talk about it. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a break pull. Even on a two. With with a badly geared tank, this is a brave pull. I'm actually going to just um, life cocoon him before he gets out of hand. Use it as a preemptive cooldown rather than a, oh my god, he's taking so much damage. Like now, sort of cooldown. Uh, yeah, he literally just got obliterated then. Um, let's have a look at deaths. He died. I suppose he was quite low for a long time. But he didn't really get any healing of me. Okay, that's probably more my fault than his then. Okay, it's interesting. 
I think I feel like especially with this class at the moment, you're gonna have to be quite critical of of myself. Um, I'm gonna have to look at things and go, is there more I could do in this situation? Like right now, I've got Rise of the Sun kicks off cool or on cooldown. Sorry, but I had two renewing mists just sat there. Um, and I think extra haste will help, but I don't think it's the be all and end all. I hope we do the other one because I've just made a mistake. Uh, give me my reset, please. I'm not going to get it, am I? Right, okay, so in this situation, we don't have any... Um, we basically don't have Phelan Stomp to carry us. So it doesn't matter too much because we did damage, but I also use Shaylan's Gift, which is probably a good move there, to be honest, um, just to help out a little bit. Uh, so, uh, again, I feel like in those sort of situations... I could probably get myself through a good chunk of the... Is he just going to take every one of them? I'm going to just do this. I revivaled there. Just He started taking damage, and I was watching his health, so I stood and run. It just wasn't worth it. Um, so we are going to... On the first one, we're going to Chi-Gi. And if there is a second one, we're going to Shaylin's Mist. Now, again, much too much kind of practice and theory for such a low key but it's a good pra practice to have because on higher keys this is what i will have to do by the looks of it although it's gonna die jesus he pulled 107k single target yeah i mean this is gonna be a quick key but you know what we, there's very little i can talk about because we're just getting carried by the fact that we have these guys um, I'm not quite sure why they're in here, to be honest. Unless they're just in here for the weekly quest, which potentially. Um, so, how did I get all my gear? So, at the moment, we've um, basically just put a work order in for full set of leather armor. Um, some of these require matrixes, some don't. Again, you're going to get matrixes as you level. I had six, I think, by the time I hit 70. Did a lot of my um leveling in dungeons and gathering so not wasn't particularly focused on it um then got a honor necklace i did some leveling i did some a couple of arenas while i was leveling also uh leveled with war mode on so every time i saw a war supply crate i just took it um which again is is very good i'm gonna use life cocoon there because he's taking lots of damage um again Open world PvP uh, from Marks. Nice little cloak. That's actually from a world quest, but still, same difference. We'll come back to braces. Um, like I said, gloves crafted. Belt come from the war marks, the war tokens. Legs crafted. We'll come back to boots as well. Um, again, ring. This one definitely requires a training matrix, but it's worth it. I didn't even put a, a stat specific on it. I just, whatever. I just need stats at this point, right? Um, I bought this off the auction house. It cost me 600 gold or something with exactly the stats that I wanted on it. Bought uh, a trinket for honor and a trinket from the auction house. Overall, I probably spent 2,000 gold on everything I showed you there. Um, now, I did craft myself, because I am inscription on this, uh, a staff. There it is, um, which was 343. Three. Now, I did that, and as soon as I hit max level, there was a uh, a this weapon actually on a world quest so i've gone and done the world quest and obviously that's left me with a better one-handed i've then gone and bought the token offhand so i was quite lucky that there was a world quest up that gave tokens so it wasn't an issue for me i wasn't having to farm them they were pretty easy to get uh so other than like the easy stuff then really to get i've gone and crafted myself so i've used the bind on account primal chaos thing I sent two bags of chaos over. So that was 160 chaos it cost me. I got 120, I believe. Well, this could be brave. I'm going to stun. Um, but yeah, so we've crafted ourselves a pair of boots. Um, it looks like I, I just, like, I basically had to choose between belts, uh, belt boots, or like cloak, I guess. To put it on, I decided boot in the end. There's no real reason for it. It could go on a number of slots. I've just decided to put it straight onto boots. 
Um, we've then done ourselves some braces. Now, the reason for doing braces, I should probably put them on my bars, actually. The reason for doing braces, quite specifically, was the fact that we don't have a combat res as, as Miss Weaver, and I feel like it's so free to pick up a combat res now that you almost should. Um, it's a pretty nice stat in that it's a pretty nice item in that it guarantees you quite a large amount of one stat, so you can go quite crazy into like. For me, I need a lot of haste. I'm really low on haste at the moment. It's a nice item. Again, wasn't crafted to any specific like good level. I do intend on getting it recrafted at some point, but for right now, it does the job and it's giving me that eye level boost. Uh, and the one at the moment, I'm just waiting for someone to log on because you know it's like eight in the morning. Um, is a lariat. That will be the other item which will replace my necklace. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have a really good start for very little effort on the monk so far. I imagine we could probably quite quickly jump to around the 360 mark. I'm still at 35 Primal Chaos just from doing like the world boss and a couple of world quests, things like that. Um, which means I could, in theory, craft another item, like a ring, um, if I want to farm till 50, I believe I can craft the alchemy trinket, which is definitely one that's on the list. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely improvements and upgrades we can make. And I think we'll be very easy to jump to that sort of 360. Uh, the next goal then will be to make sure we've done the week, uh, weekend event. So get ourselves a 402 or 411 piece of gear. Um, obviously if it comes from, if the item drops come from Razagath or Diurna, um, they actually drop at their appropriate eye level. So you can get some nice items there. I believe my warrior did this week, got a pretty sweet item. Um, so that would be ideal. Now, we do have the Catalyst. So we have three charges of the Catalyst currently. Um, so we do want to try and use them, but we want to use them on pieces that we're not just going to immediately replace. Um, so it will be a case of as we're doing Mythic Plus and trying to run through these dungeons is just if we get like a good legs or good gloves, uh, the pieces we want, I believe. Oh God, can I remember this? I think it's head, shoulders, chest, gloves in an ideal world. Now, if miracles happen and we get this ring, um, or one of these two rings. So one's from Eggnog. So if we happen to get this ring, or we happen to get this ring, I will change my plan and be going for a flaring cowl, and I'll probably drop the boots. Um, just because it's, it seems very, very strong. Um, now, there's not guarantee that's going to happen, but we are in melee range a lot of the time. Um, let's actually have a look. How much is... is healing dart done if anything at all really uh around one percent of my healing yeah I, I would definitely drop that for flaring cow then i think um but yeah we'd go a slightly different route if i happen to get that from the dungeon quest if we didn't get it on at least heroic i probably wouldn't bother but if we happen to then maybe we'll change the plan um but again not really had much of an issue here I kind of didn't expect we would once I realized that we've got two, like, 400-plus high-level DPS. And I, I swear I did not know that going into the dungeon. Otherwise, I might not have even recorded it. But, I mean, what what can you do? Sometimes you just take the carry, right? Um, so, again, really bad at using my Renewing Mist. It's such a strong ability, and you run quite a bit of mastery as well. So... Um, every time you're renewing mist, it's going to just insta-heal the target for a small amount as well. So you can get so much benefit out of it. I haven't used GG, haven't used my Shieldland's Gift. There's quite a lot that I could do better and, and more. I'm actually going to use Shieldland's Gift now. It has. It's given me a lesson in anger, which is um, pretty damn good for just doing damage. Now, obviously, our damage is probably not the most relevant. Uh, are we going to get a shield? I really hope so. Don't like the fact that our shield's not in one on my fey line and two, it's not in melee range. But we bounced in and out. Uh, you can like jump in and out in between the pulses and you'll be absolutely fine. It's when the pulses come out that it does the damage. And boom. 
I have a feeling we may, may just three chest this. Um, so that will be the goal this week is to obviously get every dungeon done. Same thing that we did last week with the warrior um, is get everything done on one week and then go back and do it on the other week. Um, ah, he's farming the Horn of Allah. Okay, interesting. Um, what do we want? I think the only thing that we really care about is being Miss Weaver. The horn's okay, but I don't really want it. I would take motor sanctification. Um, both the rings badly started, but I'd just take them because of eye level. Yeah, we can get we can get so many upgrades. I mean, this is the nice part about doing new characters. It's kind of why I'm excited to keep doing new characters is because we get to experience this where it's like just everything everything we pick up is an upgrade. Whereas my evoker could do twenty keys right now, and I probably wouldn't get an upgrade out of any of them, right? Um, so which can be quite frustrating. Ooh. So I tried to be cocky there. It didn't work. Um, but I did mostly get out, so it's not too bad. Um, we bloodlusted. It's got 5% health left. I think we might just kill it in time. It was close, but we managed to three-chest it. Um, so one key down. Solid. How much score? 68 score. Love life. Oh, my God. Am I going to die? That was sucky. I didn't even get loot. What's that about? Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. It's my first key on the Miss Weaver. I don't think I learned much uh, out of this run, but hey, it's one more to our weekly chest. It's a dungeon done. So uh, progress. So thanks for watching, guys, and catch you later. Goodbye.